What's up guys, this is Ice, uh, another tutorial for you guys, um, it's going to be on CC Grid Wipe, which is uh, pretty much just squares flying around the screen, and um, probably seen it before in uh, some episodes, but yeah, it's a really nice effect, not overused, which is very good, I hate how uh, effects these days are just being overused if they're nice. And, um, yeah, so, the first thing that you want to do for this is you're going to go to layer, new, hold on, layer, new, uh, solid, and you can just make that white, and then make it the entire screen, and, uh, okay. So now you have that. You're gonna go over here to effects and presets and type in uh, four color gradient. It's like four dash color gradient and um, drag it onto the white solid. So you got these uh, four colors now and choose whatever color you want, colors you want by uh, pressing on each of these colors and changing them and. Uh, it's completely customizable. Just choose whatever colors you want. You could, you could um, alternate the colors by like and like choosing just two colors, or you could choose four colors. But right now I'm just gonna choose two, and just gotta alternate them. And yeah, so that's that. Um, now what you have to do is uh you could just go over, go over here and collapse it the effect and then go over here and type in um cc grid wipe and drag that on to the white solid as well and uh now if you drag over the completion you'll see that kind of forms the effect So that's good, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, um, if you guys have seen this effect before, you'll see that usually they uh, rotate the little squares, and that's how you do it with rotation. So for now, just keep that at 45, and um, pretty much just the way that you use this effect is what I like to do is I like to um, bring in the effect right as the the shot goes off so to do that what you have to do is you have to go to the frame right before the shot which is I'm already on that see so yeah, that's the shot and then this is the frame before and you're gonna go over here to completion and keyframe it at a hundred so it's gone and uh, just in case you didn't know, um, CC Grid Wipe is pretty much a transition. So like, it, that's kind of like the transition the clip would be coming in. But yeah, obviously there's other uses for it. So anyway, um, so yeah, keyframe it at 100, the completion, and then go to the shot. And you're gonna then keyframe it at. Um, this is like where it comes to personal personal preference, but I like around 79 or even 69. Yeah, 69 looks better. And um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So then you're gonna just to keyframe it out. What I do is like right around like there. You could just uh, keyframe it again back to 100, so that now if you see, it pops up as the shot, and then it kind of gradually slides out and disappears. So that's good. And then um, so yeah. And now to uh, for the rotation you're gonna go 
right where the shot occurs where it pops up and you're gonna keyframe rotation and then this is also personal personal preference but um what you do is you go to where it says go to where it, where it's a hundred again where it completely has disappeared that's right here and uh, it's personal preference but wherever you wanna you just drag this a little bit I prefer to drag it like a smaller amount so that it um, it kinda just rotates slower cause if it rotates really fast it just it doesn't look very nice so if you look at this decently slow maybe I'll make it a little bit slower and uh, to make it slower or faster pretty much what you do is if you want it slower you just make it rotate less so you make it a lower number and uh, so that during a period of time it doesn't have to cover that much uh, that much rotation but if you want to make it faster, you make it a higher number so that it has to go, has to rotate faster to get to that number by the end. So yeah, I guess I'll put it around like 105, 106. And um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, ramp preview this. So. Alright. Oh my God. The uh, the shot sounds a little off on that clip, so doesn't really matter though. It's pretty much the gist of this uh, this effect. So yeah. Um. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and like this video if you're watching it because um I I take time out of my day to make these tutorials and it really just benefit me benefit everyone if you could just like it and I would obviously come out with more tutorials to help you guys so yeah and subscribe if you want more tutorials and if you like my videos so yeah like comment subscribe and yeah guess that's it so peace guys